Hey, what's up, guys? So this is an intro I'm doing to um, this new series, which was which I I was talking about for a few episodes ago, um, about me and my dad starting a series talking about topics. And today is the first episode, the pilot episode. And I would really ap- appreciate if you guys can like it and show us support. Um, any feedbacks you'd li- you'd guys like us to see anything really? Um, t- just comment. And today was kind of a uh, uh, embarrassing. I guess but um, episode because we were talking about what is the difference between porn and real sex and yeah I hope you guys find it really interesting um, let me know if you do and let me know what your opinions are on those and what we said we said some harsh things at least I did and uh, yeah other than that I hope you enjoy this pilot episode and I'll, and I'll see you in the next one peace out so today's topic is going to be the difference between porn and real sex and so do you want to start talking about it because yeah uh, so first of all uh, guys I want to say I'm really privileged that I can speak with Shem today and then that you can listen to us and all that and so um, Shem and I was thinking that it would be beneficial for for uh, teens to to that we'll talk about the difference between porn and 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 real sex because guys let's let's face it I mean teens today watch porn on the web and there's so much porn on the web and 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 Uh practically it's different I mean real sex is different from porn shame what what do you how do you know that do you watch porn well I used to yes I used to watch porn I'm I'm not I'm not embarrassed to say that okay but shame what do you think is the difference so, so ju- guys, just just to to further explain, since I guess you know most teens, at least when they're not sixteen yet, they've not experienced real sex yet. So the only the only knowledge they have about sex is basically from porn, or or if their mother was talking to them about doing safe sex, which I don't think <laughs> really happened. So so yeah. So Shem, what do you think? What do you think is the difference? Well, I wouldn't know. I've never watched porn. What do you I think? Well, what do you think? I t- I t- like the difference. Uh, I would say the difference is that like I don't know how to say. It. Let like, me uh, let me help Shem. I think I think <laughs> the main the first difference is that when you see porn, usually it's all about the act. It's all about the sexual act. Mm-hmm. And and in real life, you know, you need to to first know the lady or or the guy. If you're if you're a male, you first need to know the lady. If you're if you're a girl, you first need to know the guy. Maybe going out, maybe wa- going to a movie. Then you know, talk about a bit deeper about what what do you care, what do you love. You know, you need to have some attraction to this to this lady or to this guy, and and only after you really get to know each other maybe you start getting some physical action and even then and even you know if you if you really get to 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 have real sex you're you're not going to what do what do you mean real sex what's different intercourse what i mean intercourse even when you're going to do an intercourse okay. you it's not what you see on porn now you know one of the concerns that i think uh, adults have today is that teens will learn from porn movies and then when they'll meet no a movies g- videos videos whatever mm. and when they'll meet a girl they will want to have sex with her as they see on porn movies that's not true well but i heard not in my perspective. but i heard it on the radio you know i heard uh, a young lady maybe 20 years old or something like that saying on the radio it was a, like a call-in radio show so she said that the guys she's dating they want to do sex like they see on porn movie. They want to do anal. They want to do this. They want to do that. I mean, hey, you know, <laughs> just a minute. Let's let's you know. Let's do the basics first. You know. Okay. Let's get. Wait. Why did he? Why did she call to say that? Like no, no, no. She was. I think she was calling to complain that she cannot find the right guy. But at the same at the same conversation, she was talking about. Uh, the way guys are behaving today and and you know but that's in Israel so that's yeah but what does it matter it's probably happening in Canada it's probably happening worldwide I mean not only people in Israel see porn well 
I mean, North Korea, look at North Korea. Maybe in North Korea they don't see porn, but I think North Korea, they don't do sex anyway if the government does not allow it. But that's... Wait, they don't... What are you saying that way they, they don't do sex no, no, at all? Yeah, they are, but that's a side matter. But, okay. but the thing is, the point is that um, Shem and I was thinking, how can we create some kind of an, an app or an online game or something like that that will actually teach teens what's the difference between porn and real sex? What's the difference? Because, because the, one of the concerns is that this is the porn is the only tool today that, that young people learn about sex rather than actually learning you know think about it when it was before before there was video before there was the internet you know girl boys and girls used to meet together uh -huh. get to know each other it's it's a process it's okay. not about like in a porn movie when you see two actors two porn actors get together in the same room and bump they're in the business. <laughs> no. So, 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 Shem and I was thinking, if you guys have any suggestions about what what can be created or something that can be created that can explain about the differences and that that, that guys like you would really uh, enjoy using it. Mm -hmm. And uh, so. Except the fact that um, you talked about the difference between porn and uh, real sex, that like they do it too fast, like into the relationship, is there like a... Uh, well, it's not only do, 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 do it... There are, there are other like... There's no... Yeah, there's, there's, no, there's no emotions involved. I mean, you know, if you're doing sex and there's no emotions involved, what's the point of all that? I mean, just, that's just exchanging liquids? I mean, think about it. The purpose, the main purpose of sex is to have children. Now, I'm not saying that every time you do sex, you need to have children, but... I don't think that's the main point. Like... That's what that's what sex is about. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, you're saying... Like, main point is, like, let's say, um, playing tennis, the main point is to win. But, like, in sex, the main... Like, whenever you do sex, you don't think, I'm, gonna, I'm doing sex to... to maybe to now, maybe now you don't think, but in the past, before there were any... Uh, you know, like the peel and condoms and all that. Every time that people made sex, usually there was a baby at the end of the of the day. Yeah, but they didn't do it to, to have babies. So that's not the main point. But doesn't matter. The, the point is that we were made, the way we were made is that sex creates children. Today, you know, you, you have uh, the peel and you have condoms and you have all kinds of things that prevent every sexual act to, to, pr to produce a child, but in uh -huh. the past. Now, another point that, that I want to raise is the, the, the addiction, addiction to porn. There is, there is a well-known phenomena of people getting addicted to porn, and, and, you know, some of the signs that you're addicted to porn is that you lose interest in real girls because you can see them on on the porn movies you can uh -huh. see the actress on the porn movies they doing all kinds of tricks and and you know you lose control you lose interest on on real girls that, that actually wants to speak to you before they do sex they want to go out with you to a movie so let's uh, so let's say let's say someone has that what do they need to do to like yeah, that's a good question. So, Solve it. I think I think the first thing to do is to to quit in the amount of the porn that you see, like to see how much is as little as possible. <laughs> and as I mean, obviously the best would be not to see porn at all. That would be the best. Uh huh. You know, on this note of of addiction to to porn and all that, there's there's a, this professor which is an expert on. Uh, on virtual worlds and he wrote an article where he predicts that when we'll have uh, real virtual worlds like reality a virtual reality people will prefer to do sex in virtual reality rather than real sex and then humanity will decrease and almost extinct that's good that's good decrease. that humanity will, will decrease maybe but he Dec says he's, he, he did the calculation and he estimates that if it will happen humanity will almost distinguish so yeah. maybe you know maybe that's down the road maybe it's not so maybe it will not happen now but but that for you well, it 
it's probably there's there's probably a bigger chance that humanity would um, di- distinct, di- how distinguish distinguish in a different way than that way you like well that's a, but that's an option and that's the thing is with this option is that it's quite real because you know the internet is flooded with porn and virtual reality is yeah, really but no po- one is a, like what is the percentage of, of um, people addicted to porn I need not to, no I need to check that but that's not I don't a, think that's it's not a small I, I can give you you know if if we're talking about addiction to virtual worlds I think one of every four players of world of Warcraft define himself as ad- addicted to the game you saying that they admit the addicting yeah they're, they're saying addicted. that we are addicted yes and and uh, uh, um, studies on the internet shows between one to four and one to eight users are addicted to, to the internet okay. so I don't know I can check the statistics about addiction to porn but it's not a minor phenomena like many people are addicted to porn you can see that by the by the way that porn vid- porn websites are so popular I mean they're not just popular because people actually get addicted they watch porn all the time and and you know also another another thing is that when you there is there is this phenomena that uh, you get desensitized meaning if you see too much porn then you want to see more extreme porn all the time because you're already used to the regular porn mm-hmm while you know when you do sex when you do real sex you're excited you don't need anything you can do real sex and regular sex and you don't need every time that it be, but when you see those porn movies then you know it starts with a regular then it's anal then it's this then it's that and then before you know it you see animals on your screen <laughs> okay there was a survey. There was a survey that shows that in North America, about one, about one in six, a pet owner had sexual relationship with his pet. But like, so you're saying one to six, but like, how much? How many percentage did they actually film it and like made it a porn video? No, no, I'm not saying they did a porn movie. I'm just saying, I'm just saying they're they're doing it. I guess very when you mean pet it's mostly dogs right like what yeah, other pet? Well, <laughs> what other pet can you <laughs> yeah again you, you can do with horses you can do with i you no, know not many people have horses i i once saw a porn movie when there was an armadillo armadillo yeah it's like this yeah, animal with the you know with yeah <laughs> it was crazy like, the heck? yeah yeah like a human and an armadillo yeah something like that <laughs> <laughs> all right that's kind of gross <laughs> yeah uh, Anyway, guys, we we're we're looking forward. I mean, if you can come up with some suggestions on um, this thing, uh, Shem and I was thinking of of creating uh, some kind of a thing because because you know this discussion is a very wide discussion. I mean, we just started talking about it, but it's it's way deeper than that because I think it's a disaster. Like if if your generation will will grow up with with the with with the notions with the concepts of porn movie as if this is how sex should look like i think we're in a problem we're in a real problem and and also you know people today are also filming their their sexual because uh, they make money like no no I'm, I'm not i'm not talking about the ones that making money i'm talking about just people that that enjoy the fact that they're making a film after and yes but like most of the people who film it they probably would upload it to like a porn um i know let's say for example Pornhub, they like you can just make a um user an account and you can upload uh videos and like i don't know exactly how much money you would yeah, make but per, yeah, per yeah. view but yeah, like yeah yeah they're making money now the thing is you see i don't want to be it depends on how much views you probably yeah get. but i don't want to be morally judgmental judgmental but I don't think there's a lot of difference between a porn actor or an actress and a prostitute or, or a gigolo. It's the same thing. I mean, you you Why? sell because you sell your body. The only difference is that prostitutes probably mo- make more money. Though. That's the only difference. You make. I mean, you know what? There are prostitutes that make, makes a lot of money, but but I think that's the only difference. Because no, the, there's a lot. There's more differences. What, like, what? Say, porn stars have like, let's say, m- probably most of the porn stars. Um, will have big dick and like Jaglows don't or like 
So what? No, but that's that's physical. And they would look good. And that giant no, no. The point. What I'm trying to say is that, like, uh, the, it's the perception is that to be a prostitute is humiliation. It's bad. It's morally bad. But to be a porn star, some people think it's a star. Like it's a porn star. And no, but look, but look, in in a porn star, you you become famous. And so what? Wait. Let me let me explain what's the difference. Is like it's more easy with uh, porn stars and uh, prostitutes. So prostitutes, blah, I can't say. It. Anyway, they uh, there's there's a lot there's kind different kinds of them. There's like um, ones that you can buy for like five dollars. Yeah, but like the po- one the that makes a lot of money more than porn, st- porn but, stars. But the point I'm trying to make is that there may be slight technical differences. By the way, there's porn stars that, that you pay them five dollars and a porn star that you pay them a hundred dollars. That depends. But well, the point I'm trying to make is that if you think that being a prostitute is not a good thing, the same goes for a porn star. But today, the conception is, is as if... I don't think it's a, it's, a, it's, a bad, it's a bad thing. To be a prostitute. To sell your body for money. To yes, do sex even, for money. Even Canada doesn't think that because Canada no, allows... No, wait, wait, allows wait, 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 wait. Canada allows prostitution. Yes. It doesn't mean it is a good thing. Do you... Would you... Yeah, but if, would if you, they allow it, it means it's... It means they respect it and like because they can no, 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 they no. can make it not they, they, cannot they understand it. they understand that there is a demand and they understand that it's it's not for the government to decide whether it should happen or not but that doesn't change the fact Wait. that it's not a good thing to be a prostitute but let's see in you say does it, that do they accept it or not i don't know i don't know but but that's not shame that's not the point I, I whether it's criminal or not that's not the point the point is that no one wants his daughter to be a prostitute and i guess no one wants his daughter to be a porn star why 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 do you think i mean I don't know. Because that's your soul. You're selling your soul. It's your you're, body. It's not your It's soul. your body. It's your soul. It's yourself. Your you're body selling, and your soul is not the same thing, though. You're selling, you're, selling, you're selling your body. You're selling your body. You're supposed to have sex with people that you care about, that you feel attraction to, that you're in love with. Yeah, but the thing about job is like if you, you have uh, fun doing it, it's not really a job. But you think prostitutes have fun doing it? You think maybe porn star, do. You think porn stars have fun doing it? I don't know, sex is fun, right? So like, Not for them. For them it's work. It's not fun. They don't enjoy it. Well, you don't know. You would never be a porn star. That's I'm, I'm not saying I don't know. That's, I don't, true. I don't, I don't That's true, but you know what? There's many witnesses of porn stars that says that they were abused and this is the reason they became porn star. And I, you know what? I'll tell you what. But I, I bet you there's not a single porn star that that was not abused when he was a kid. Otherwise, he would not become a porn star. Yes, but look at those um, people like, let's say, um, what's his name? The guy who played Ram- Rambo and uh, Schwarzenegger. Sylvester Stallone? He started in... Um, so what? So porn what? So what? So it means it's okay? So it means he wasn't abused? I don't know if he was abused. But, but the thing is, but the thing is, you know, it's a bit different for males than for females. Because, why? I'll tell you why. Because males, you know, if they do it only to, for, for, for a few times and they enjoy it and all that, that's one thing. Uh-huh. But, but for females... You know, females, they're supposed to be mothers. They're supposed to do sex to have children. And even if not that, they're supposed to do sex with people they like, with people they feel attraction to. Not for, not as a job. I mean, you know, they, this is not a job. This is, this is something that... And I'm not saying I'm not, I'm not morally judging them. I'm just saying it's not good for them. It's not good for them, and no one would want... And I'll give you an example. Well, there's a lot of stuff that, like, they, they make it legal, and it's not good. Like, let's say you say with the guns and but I'm not talking. But I'm not talking about whether it's legal or not. That's not the point, because... You're saying it's not good, but, like... It's not good for them. It's not guns good Guns is them. not good for... You can say guns is not good for people, no, 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 but no. Still, no, no. people not, still I'm buy not it. Saying, I'm not saying there shouldn't be porn industry. I'm so just what you saying, saying... I'm saying that porn actress... To be a porn actress and to be a porn actor is not good for their soul. And moreover, the fact that they're being a, a, a role model, that's very bad because those are basically but prostitutes. They're a, selling their body for money. There's a lot of bad things in every job. Like, let's say, okay, let's say there's a, um, a movie star. He 
maybe he doesn't like his job as well because he's famous and every, like he can't go to the street and he, um but I'll tell you I'll tell you what's the difference the difference is that sex is the most intimate um s- sacred thing that people have and once they start selling it for money they have nothing and and that that, and, that, and that's just just to finish the sentence that's one of the reasons why so many of them do drugs the the job is that you can die like yeah but you don't sell like your soul when you when you I become, when you become a porn star or a prostitute you mm-hmm. basically sell your soul you right. you sold your soul all right and and I'll give you an example for a lot of money <laughs> so what I mean so what so for, for a lot of money okay I mean you, you can you can do one movie that becomes popular and have like 50 million views and you get a lot of money and then you stop is that still selling your soul for first one of time all, first of all first of all yes first of all yes but but secondly it's like doing sex with someone you don't know and then but like usually they don't stop they don't stop but it's not it's not about making sex someone pays you to do sex usually it's not one time you don't get 50 million you you screw around 500 times before maybe you'll become a porn star right. and you'll earn a lot of money and maybe you'll get raped in the way and all that I mean that's part of the business you know right. and I'll give you an example there was this girl that studies um, law she does is her, her law J- JD in law at uh, I think it was Duke University and she came up to the press and said I'm, I'm financing my studies being a porn star mm-hmm. and I think the dangerous thing about what she's doing is that she why did she say that I don't know why did you, I mean it's true I don't know why she decided to came clean and go to the press but the, the point is that she in a way she's giving it a bit of a legitimate so she's making it legitimate and that's I think that's bad because because it means that being a porn star it's okay it's okay if you need some funding it's okay no I don't think it's okay I think she shouldn't she should not if that's the only way she could study law then she shouldn't study law she should do something else or get the funding oh. somewhere else because you know it's like it's if you say all the means are, are kosher like you can do yeah so it's not it's not because because I don't want to think, you know what, I don't want to think what kind of a lawyer she will be. But yeah, that's it's like studying lawyer and then killing someone. Right, 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 right. Or or yeah. killing someone so you have money to study law. The thing is, she, she didn't harm anyone else. She's harming herself. That's the point. Maybe she have AIDS. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I wouldn't say that, Shem. Maybe uh, it's yeah. you say that. I don't know. Okay. All right, anything else you want to say? I mean, we talked more. We we kind of like in the ha- the second half of the video, we more talked about like prostitutes than uh, the difference between. So no, I think I think that goes that goes to the difference as well because when you like admire you when you admire porn stars, that's also a problem because I think porn stars they have problems. They're they're. I think they need. They, you you need to feel feel pity for them rather than make them stars and. So, so just to, to, to sum her up, um, we, we would appreciate your feedback on that and, and how do you think um, something like that could be developed to, 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 to talk with teens and to, to see the differences. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, guys, uh, please be sure to give us a like. This is the first episode, the pilot episode. We're probably going to do more of those, but uh, a like would show us that you like the us talking and about topics and stuff. And um, yeah, any last words you want to say? Looking forward for your feedback. All right. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.